Hi guys, Spartan765 here. Today I'm going to be going over something that, uh, you know, I've had conversations with people with, and that is going to be, should you even be carrying a gun at all? Um, you know, in most states now you can carry with a permit. Some states you can carry constitutional. But we're not going to get into that. This is going to be, as a law-abiding citizen, should you even be carrying a gun? And uh, what I'm going to say is, um, based off my thoughts and um, other thoughts that I've been told from several instructors, is that uh, if you don't think that you can kill someone to defend yourself or your family, you should not be carrying a gun. And that sounds pretty blunt, but uh, if you look at the facts and you look at you know how things work, if you're carrying a gun just to scare somebody, that's not a reason to kill a gun or to carry a gun. Um, a gun is carried for self-defense. Um, you know, not to intimidate somebody, not to scare somebody. But the thing is, is in my my train of thought is that uh, if let's say I'm out and about and somebody starts, you know brutally mugging me or you know severe bodily harm or threat of death to me or someone that I care about in my immediate vicinity um, if I have a carry permit and I'm carrying my gun but you know I couldn't pull the trigger to kill the bad guy to or to stop the threat I should say is a more politically correct term you know you shoot to stop the threat um, if, if you don't think you could do that, then you probably shouldn't be carrying a weapon. Um, because the odds are that if the time ever came where you needed to pull that said weapon to defend yourself or your loved ones, and you couldn't pull the trigger, that bad guy then could take the weapon off of you, use it against you, um, you know... So another another thing I'm going to bring up, too, is the whole warning shot thing. Warning shots are a thing of Hollywood. Um, a lot of places, a lot of states have laws actually forbidding warning shots, that if you actually have to pull your weapon, um, both legally and civilly, um, with, with getting sued and in the legal end, um, warning shots are not a good idea. Um, if you get, let's say you're getting mugged, someone runs up to you with a knife, and you pull the gun out and just fire a shot in the air. Or you pull the gun out and fire a uh, shot off at the ground and it ricochets and hits an innocent bystander. Therefore, you are then legally liable for hitting that uh, innocent bystander. And you are civilly liable. Meaning that they can shoot you. Or not shoot you, sue you, I'm sorry. Um, they could sue you for damages. You know, which makes sense. Uh, if, I was, if I'm a bystander and somebody, you know pulls their gun and shoots at the ground to try and scare a bad guy away and it hits me in the leg, you can bet your ass I'll be on them for, I'll, I'll sue them, you know? Um, but that comes down to the basic thing, too, of carrying a weapon. Um, if you ever have to, again, use it for self-defense, you shoot to stop the threat. Um, generally, that uh, means, that's a sugar-coated way of saying you shoot center of mass. You shoot, you know, you, you shoot to kill. You don't you know, aim for the bad guy's foot and shoot him in the foot because then they can still shoot you or knife you or whatever. You shoot center mass. That's what several instructors have told me. Um, that's my basic thought, too. If I ever get attacked, I'm shooting center mass to stop the threat. And, you know, center mass, you know, lungs, heart, that area generally would kill the bad guy. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to bring up a uh, um, person that I had talked to within the past couple of years that really just stuck with me the guy uh really wanted to get a gun for home to pr protection mainly a shotgun i know this doesn't really apply to you know carry permits he wanted a gun for home protection i'm like okay well first off you think that you could kill somebody if they broke into your house and were either going to rape your wife or you know hurt you or your kids or whatever and he said no i don't really think i could i just want to use it to scare them off um well you know that may or may not work and uh, in an in-home standpoint, he said he just wanted to get rubber bullets. Well, here's the thing. Also in a lot of states, um, which is, f this, this part is just messed up. But if you shoot someone 
let's say intentionally in the leg and they break in your house. So you shoot them with a rubber bullet, rock salt or bean bag round or whatever. They, if they get a good lawyer, can actually come back and civilly sue you for pretty much everything you're worth, which is, you know, shitty. But, I mean, it's happened several times, and there are several cases out there for it. Um, you know, naturally, you know, carrying a weapon, we all hope that we never have to pull that weapon. Um, it's like the way I look at it and the way I tell people is, you know, it's like a fire extinguisher. You know, you, you have one, you hope you never have to use it, but if you have to use it, it's there. I personally hope I never have to pull my weapon on somebody, um, let alone have to, you know, shoot somebody to stop them from attacking me. Um, but, you know, if the time ever unfortunately comes, I obviously feel I'm prepared to do what I need to do to protect myself, my family, and my loved ones and friends. Um, that's just something putting out there that I think uh, new and upcoming gun owners, I mean, I, I, I know, you know, there's several different types of things for owning a gun for self-defense, target practice, hunting, collectability, but if you're buying a gun specifically for self-defense, you need to really think, hey, if I ever actually need to use this thing, could I? Um, that's just a thought I was throwing out there. I've had that pop up in comments and videos. Um, I've had friends ask me about that. I've talked to several people who have, uh, you know, asked me that. You know, I've, I open carry, and I've often gotten asked, you know, hey, do you think you could actually use that thing if you had to? And my straight-up answer is, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If someone, uh, someone pointed a gun at me or someone, you know, pointed a knife at me or charged me or one of my friends or loved ones, I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger because at the end of the day, I would know that, hey, I'd be safe, and my friends or loved ones would be safe. Um, whoever was with me would be safe. What I couldn't live with is, uh, you know, hesitating to pull the gun. Oh, I don't think I'm going to kill that bad guy, and then either one of my loved ones or me gets either lethally injured, killed, or, I know, lethally injured and killed is the same thing, or, you know, severely maimed or wounded to the point where it would affect the rest of your life. Um, that, if, you know, if I was like, oh, I, I couldn't pull the trigger to stop that bad guy with a gun, and he ended up shooting my buddy in the back and it paralyzed him, uh, I couldn't, you know, that would, that would be a hard thing to live with, you know. Um, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, any response videos, comments, questions, you know, what, what do you think? Uh, let me know. Spartan 765 out.